Hi, my name's Thomasina Myers. I am a chef, a food writer, co-founder of the restaurant group Oaxaca, member of Slow Food and champion of food markets and local food. For me, generosity is really about uh, impromptu acts, sparks of generosity. And I remember doing a job very early on when I was just starting out. I was working in LA and uh, I was on the way back from Mexico where I'd been living and researching the food for about a year. So everything I owned was on a backpack. I was looking very scruffy. And I arrived in LA and I suddenly was thrown into the world of Prada who were opening a huge boutique in the middle of Rodeo Drive. And I had to coordinate this enormous dinner for A-list celebrities, Brad Pitt and you know, Al Pacino and the likes of those guys. And, uh, and so that night there was gonna be this huge glamorous party. And uh, the girls at Prada, shall we say, weren't exactly kind to me. They saw this rather scruffy <laughs> chef type and they were rather snooty, and I was rather upset about this. Um, but luckily, a girlfriend of mine was flying in from Mexico for the party, and she brought with her a whole outfit for me. She'd raided her mother's uh, wardrobe, and she dressed me for the event. And it was completely uncalled for. I hadn't asked for anything, but she'd heard the kind of note of depression, that thing where someone's been rather mean to you and makes you feel rather small about yourself. And she dressed me for the party, and I felt fabulous. And it was something like that, which is so small, but so unasked for, uncalled for, and just spontaneous, I think, is, is incredibly generous. I am always struck uh, when I travel the world uh, about generosity, because uh, traveling really lets you see other people's cultures uh, and how people behave and their norms. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember particularly a time in Georgia where we were traveling around exploring the food. Um, it was a tiny, um, tiny town in the corner of Georgia, um, very, very foodie and wonderful. And we were foreigners and people were very excited to see us. And uh, very, very poor families, very humble backgrounds with barely enough to feed themselves, would open up their entire homes to invite these foreigners in because they believed in showing generosity to strangers who were out in strange places far from their home. And they would literally put every scrap of food they had in the house. Who knows, maybe the, the amount of food they'd had to feed their whole family for a whole week. And they would feed it to us, the, the visitors, the foreigners. And I think that type of hospitality where you put other people way above your own interests, even that of your family, is absolutely incredible. It's very easy to think you're being generous by being sweet to your husband or to your family or you know, looking after your friends, being there to, to, to listen to your shoulders cry on. But actually, it's thinking about the people you don't normally meet in the course of your daily life that I think um, really stands apart from a kind of more ordinary type of generosity. So it's seeing someone in the road um, begging who you'd normally only rush past and, and pretend to look away. It's actually thinking about what their life's like. It's looking on the television and seeing those pictures of people in deprived situations and where normally, again, you might change a channel or, or think about something else rather than think about rather uncomfortable uh, scenarios. And actually trying to put yourself in other people's shoes a bit more and realise that other people have quite hard lives and just putting your head in that framework where you're, you're just thinking a bit more about other people, perhaps people you don't know yourself. Um, and I think if you start thinking like that, then your whole attitude to life starts becoming a little bit more generous bit by bit. So that's what I'm trying to do anyway.